Both sides. Yes, uh, the relations between Pakistan and Kuwait, as you are aware, are brotherly, and uh, we are having interaction at all levels. A number of visits have taken place in the past. Uh, our Prime Minister was here, your Prime Minister was in Pakistan in 2013, and uh, now uh, we have a new comment. Our Foreign Minister, uh, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, has met uh, Kuwaiti Foreign Minister on the sideline of the UN Security General Assembly session in New York. Uh, the Minister of Trade and Commerce was in Pakistan uh, for a Joint Ministerial Commission meeting. He also had a chance to meet Prime Minister. He also had a chance to meet his counterpart, uh, who is uh, our uh, Finance Minister, and to discuss how to promote our trade, commerce, and investment. Uh, and uh, our Foreign Minister has also been invited to visit Kuwait, and we do hope that uh, whenever the date suits uh, to both sides, the foreign minister may also uh, undertake a visit to uh, the The Pakistan government in Kuwait and uh, the, the problem of Asia visas, is there any update? Uh, we are uh, uh, requesting repeatedly to the authorities here in Kuwait that uh, the restrictions uh, of visa on Pakistan nationals should be lifted. It is now too long, uh, since 2011, these restrictions are there, and uh, the number of Pakistanis in Kuwait is now shrinking. It has come down to 100,000, 105,000, uh, which was used to be 150, 160,000 a couple of years back. So we do expect that uh, the Kuwait government will give sympathetic consideration, because uh, apparently there is no reason now. The security situation has improved a lot in Pakistan, now everything is back to normal. And uh, the world investors are also keeping, uh, having a lot of interest in Pakistan. So we do hope that uh, when the situation is normal, then uh, there's no reason that uh, Pakistani should be kept under uh, the category B, which means that uh, every individual has to get NOC from the uh, Interior Minister uh, to get visa. And the uh, Interior Minister may give visa, uh, uh, NOC, but how to approach the Interior Minister? Yeah. So it is not possible for the people, for the general people, to go to the Interior Minister and get the NOC. Likewise, the, the population, and the, our people who are living here, their families, their children are suffering. They are unable to get a visa to, uh, for their families also. So that is a humanitarian issue as well. So we do urge the Kuwaiti government, I, whenever I go to the authorities, whenever I go to a meeting, I do uh, underscore this uh, importance that we should uh, bring at least, you see, back to normal business visa should be eased uh, so that uh, we should have more trade and investment. Uh, likewise, the professionals, they should be uh, given a chance to come here and the family visa should uh, be you see, made easy. Pakistan and the is in promoting such Bismillah Rahman uh, Rahim. Thank you so much. Uh, as you are aware that uh, Jammu and Kashmir is a disputed territory since 1947 uh, when uh, there was a partition of uh, British uh, India. Uh, so Kashmir is an unfinished agenda of the partition. Since 1947, it is on the agenda of the United Nations Security Council. And uh, interestingly, uh, the, it was Indian government who uh, took this uh, uh, issue to the Security Council. And uh, the Security Council resolution was passed, not one resolution, but many resolutions were passed in 1947 onward till 50s. Uh, and it was binding on both Pakistan and India. Under the resolution, the people of Kashmir were uh, to given a right of self-determination, that they should decide that whether they would like to join India, whether they would like to join Pakistan. So this is the principal decision taken by the United Nations. And this was a resolution which was also accepted by India. Indian first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Jawahar Nehru has publicly stated that yes, uh, the right ultimately lies with the people of Kashmir. So Pakistan is also, uh, right from the beginning, is supporting uh, politically, morally, diplomatically to the people of Kashmir that they should be given their right to self-determination.
Kashmir Solidarity Day is also, uh, uh, you see, that we want to express our uh, sympathies with the Kashmiri people who are suffering for the last 70 years and uh, the lot of uh, human rights violations are taking place. So we do expect from international community that they should also uh, rise and put pressure on in India that they should abide by the UN Security Council resolutions and they should also stop uh, killing Kashmiri, innocent Kashmiri who are uh, doing nothing but they are demanding their uh, right to self-determination. On uh, the promotion of uh, econo economy, uh, industry and investment is the focus. So they are making a lot of uh, uh, reforms in policies uh, to make business easy so that uh, people who want to come to invest, they should be uh, having access to one window. And uh, the government has taken a number of steps and uh, I'm sure that uh, a lot of interest is being shown by international investors uh, to come to Pakistan. So the government is in focus uh, to uh, see, correct the uh, economic uh, issues, whatever, wherever they are. So their focus is on economy. Thank you. So we are going to start.